Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is the difference between a Unify console backup and a Unify application backup. In this example, we're going to use my Express 7. Now, the Express 7 can only have the Unify network application installed on it, but this is going to be uh, or the instructions or what we're going to look at are going to be similar for all of your Unify OS consoles. So let's let's take a look. So here is my Express 7, and I'm going to go to Settings. Now there's two places that you can do backups here. One is at the application level. So right here, you can see where network is. This is the application. This is the Unify network application. If I go to Control Plane, Control Plane is actually dealing with the Unify OS console, the actual entire hardware wrapper and system, Unify OS, and everything installed on it. So I'm going to start with that first. So under Control Plane, if I go to Backups, right here you can see that I'm doing an auto backup weekly, and I can down download it. Now, this is automatically being stored in my Ubiquity account because it is uh, linked and it's encrypted. It's stored there. And this backup contains not only all of my Unify OS console settings, so users, logs, all of the things for the actual Unify OS console, but it contains a Unify network application backup because that is part of the entire console. So this is useful, very useful for migrating to another console. The console crashes. We need to factory reset it. We can restore the entire Unify OS console, whether it's an Express 7, a UDM Pro, a UDM SE, a UDM Pro Max, an EFG. We can restore it exactly the way it was to the last backup before the crash happened or before we migrated to a new device. You could use this to easily migrate from an Express 7 to a UDR 7. You could go from a UDR 7 to a UDM Pro Max. The list goes on and on. But this restores absolutely everything that was on the console. So if I had a console that was also running Protect and Access and I was moving to a compatible console that could also run those, I could restore everything. Now with inside the network application itself, if I go to system and I go to backups, this is for the network application only. So if I want to migrate my network application only, I can do a backup here. You can see this, this is auto backup monthly, but I'm backing up the console weekly. So it's grabbing the Unify Network application as well weekly within the console backup. So it's it's kind of like backup inception, right? And right here they tell you to create full backups, uh, full console backups. Please go to the cloud, the console cloud backups, which is where we were at under Control Plane. Now a couple of things to keep in mind, depending on how you have your management structured is only owners of the consoles can get to the control plane backup for the entire device. So you have to be an owner for that. Now, as the owner, you can download a backup and give it to someone else and, and you know, somehow physically get it to them and they can back, uh, restore it to another console. But for the automated backups, you have to be the console owner. Every application that, that's installed, some of them have an excellent backup. If you want to make sure that you've got everything and you're on a Unify OS console that, that has multiple applications, whether it's the network application, the protect application, the access application, the talk application. If you want to make sure you're backing all of that up, the easiest way is to do the control plane backup, let it go, 
to your cloud console. Now, if you're making some changes on the fly, you're, you're changing some things around, you can do a backup immediately, like right now. So I made these changes, or I'm going to make these changes, so I'll do a backup now. Boom. I've got my, my snapshot, my backup, my point in time before the changes were made. I make all of my changes. I can make another backup immediately. Otherwise, you can wait for it to do the weekly backup there. If it is the network application, um, and you can change this on the network application, so reschedule. So we can do daily, 1230. Um, and these are being stored on the console. Control plane, console, uh, sorry, backups. These are being stored in your cloud account and it contains everything. So make sure that you've got your backups set up. Make sure that you're taking backups when you make configuration changes, especially if you're making a lot of configuration changes. Because while the Unify OS console does have logging, right, if we come in here and we go to the logs, and while we can see that, like, Willie Howe made a change to MDNS, right? While we see those things, if it's not backed up, and uh, like if, if we've made those changes and the automatic backup window doesn't happen and, it, and it, something happens and we have to restore, those changes are going to be wiped out. So if you're making a lot of changes, make sure that you're manually doing those backups so that you have them as kind of a fail safe. That's kind of your safety net in case anything happens. If you've got any questions about backups, let me know down below. How are you backing up your Unify either applications or your console? Let me know down below. I'm sure people have gotten really creative with this. And, you know, we've seen some other vendors who the backups have been stored in the cloud. It's not working out so hot for them lately. I'm not going to name any names. You can do some Google searching or you probably know off the top of your head. But let me know how you handle your backups. Uh, I would love to hear it because I'm sure that people are getting creative with this. And I might have a thing or two also that I'd like to show you about that depending on the, the responses. So let me know down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, whether it is making sure that you have backups, redesigning or deploying new networks, whether it's hardwired networks, Wi-Fi, if you need voice over IP, uh, storage or security, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com and tell us how you're doing your backups. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.